forward and let's talk about Mathut Finance. Uh, the demand for gold loans uh, seems to be on a rise. Uh, so let's chat about the preparedness really that the company has to cater to this higher demand uptake and the outlook of course on asset quality and funding availability going forward. Joining us right now on the show, George Alexander Mathut, MD at Mathut Finance joining in on the show. George, hi, morning, good to have you on the show. Uh, you do expect higher demand for gold loans at this point in time when gold prices have already escalated. What keeps you so optimistic about it? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, I think uh, our branches are slowly getting opened. As of date, about 80-85% uh, of our branches are opened all over India. It's in the last three days, actually, that uh, more and more branches are getting opened. So as the branches are getting opened, the customers have been waiting to come to the branch for the last uh, 35 to 40 days. They are just starting to come to the branch. Of course, there are some restrictions on how many people can come, etc. And the travel also is not that easy. But still, we see people starting to come to the branch. They are paying, are paying their interest on loans. Some people are taking back their loans. People are taking new loans also. Now, coming to the demand, so I think uh, by the end of the month, uh, when things are a little more normal, we should see real upsurge in the uh, demand for gold loans. That's mainly because uh, availability of funding is, being a, is a problem today for especially the small business, small traders, and even some individuals. And the gold loan can play a very good part in that uh, demand and uh, maybe putting more purchasing power into the hands of people. That is why by the end of the month, we should see a uh, big, big uptick in demand. Sure, theoretically I completely get your point, but don't you think as the economy gets back to, uh, you know, full lifting of the lockdown, banks as well would begin lending and thereby you would again then see that rebalancing and a dip in demand come by for gold loans? Yeah, no, see, <clears throat> it last, uh, just before two months, even just before two months when the things were all very normal, we were seeing a good growth in our business. We actually were seeing a growth of uh, 15 to 20 percent on the gold loan business last year also. And uh, that is what we will be seeing the, uh, after the banks lockdowns or after the banks also become normal in their loan disbursement. But there are definitely a good set of customers, even when the banks have, have been uh, working normally, they were unable to get uh, quick and easy uh, bridge finance like loans from gold loan. That is why they have been using gold loan prior to this lockdown also. So after once the lockdown is lifted, things are normal. The usual demand for gold loan, which we saw, we saw in the last couple of years, around 15 to 20 percent AUM growth, I think that should come back to normal. What I am saying is now, in the, in the foreseeable future, in the next two, three months, when uh, banks are probably a little reluctant to give to banks, etc., we should see a little extra demand. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so what is going to be the growth strategy then post-COVID? Because the subsidiaries contribute nearly 12% to the gross loan assets. Will this share now come down? And can you share with us some of the growth forecasts? Have they been slashed for FY21? Yeah, I think uh, today the, the subsidiaries constitute about 10% of our total gold loan business. And uh, that is the vehicle finance business, the uh, microfinance business, and also the affordable housing. In all these three areas, uh, definitely uh, we will be uh, taking very calibrated steps and also cautiously only lending. Probably uh, these three, these uh, other than gold loans, will play a less important role in the next one year till things uh, uh, normalize. So probably next year we'll be definitely going slow on the microfinance, vehicle finance, as well as the affordable housing because this is not the best of times for these three sectors. But since we have adequate demand on gold loan business, we will certainly put more efforts in the gold loan business going forward for next year also.
Okay, fair enough. Um, give us also a sense then as to what the outlook has been on collections in the month of April. Digital as well has been gaining a lot of traction because social distancing is now going to become the new norm and the new reality. So do you think that we will see a greater reliance on the digital channels rather than branches? Are you investing a lot more here? Yeah, we are investing a lot on uh, digital channels. But uh, all said and done, the digital channel can be used uh, for payment of interest and also payment of principal. But for physical deposit of gold in the branch at the time of taking their loan and physical taking back of the loan from the branch, people will have to come to the branch. So uh, some, bra some uh, visits can be avoided, especially the uh, people who pay interest. So today, uh, a good number of people come to the branch to pay interest. So we are now uh, mapping them to the bank account, and their bank accounts are being mapped because uh, we had quite a, a lot of free time with our staff last month, and we have been able to do that mapping quite well. Uh, earlier, we were doing only a very small portion of mapping. Now, uh, more and more accounts are getting mapped. Once these account bets mapped, these uh, customers can pay interest or remit their interest uh, remit their principal and also take an additional loan on the gold which they already have through the online channel. But it will take a little bit of time because our customers are, the average ticket size is only 40%, so you can't expect all of them to be online savvy or computer savvy, but uh, we are trying our best and we are seeing good results. Actually, the number of people using this is actually going up day by day. But finally, it is not a full solution that uh, gold loans can never fully be done through online. As I said, interest payment, taking a repayment, part payment of the loan, or taking up a extra money on the gold already there, yes. But for physical, the what is today, we have to think something else also, whether customers uh, can avoid coming to the branch to bring the gold. That we have not been able to sort out as yet. Sure. Lastly, what happens to your asset quality? Because, you know, given the risk profile of the borrowers and the way it's deteriorating, do you expect higher delinquencies as well as NPAs then going forward in that case? Oh, no. So, actually, today uh, our uh, loan to value, the loan to value is the value on which the 100, if 100 rupees the value, the value which we give as loan is uh, capped by RBI as 75%. But today, in actual terms, the actual loan to value is only about 53%. That means the price of gold has gone up. Uh, so we have our loan to value or uh, outstanding is only 53 to 54%. So we have an elbow room of 47% on the collateral. So we don't see anything uh, with regard to quality of the asset. Probably customers, some customers may uh, take a uh, little extra time in repaying the loan. But then our loan period, although the loan period is 12 months, the average uh, loan tenure is only four months. Probably because of this, the average tenure may get extended by a month or two. That's all. But still, we'll be well within the NPA norm. So as far as gold loan is concerned, where the collateral is very liquid and uh, and also it is a pledge that the collateral is with us. We don't see any uh, any issue with regard to quality of the assets or the interest collection. Sure. Good to have you then on the show. Uh, thanks so much, George, for taking the time and speaking with us so candidly about how business is going to be for Muthut Finance post-COVID. That's the word from Muthut Finance, but let's take a look at what the market is up to. We've actually gained ground, so about 1% higher, 9,300 back on the ticker, breath in the positive. We'll take a very quick break on that road, uh, but come right back. We've got something else lined up for you on the show as well.